Jim Saad is here with today's FanDuel Hurry Up, breaking down a couple of guys who have had their stock rise across MLB DFS to open this year. The big one, of course, is Clayton Kershaw. Almost had that perfect game in his first start this year and did get knocked around a bit by the Braves last night. But overall, Kershaw pitching well between the two starts combined. He has a 48% strikeout rate across his first two starts with a 17.4% swinging strike rate. Those two numbers combined tell me the strikeouts will be there. If the strikeouts are there, Kershaw is going to be a very very good pitcher. His hard contact allowed rate this year is very low, so if you give me a lot of strikeouts and contact suppression, I'm expecting maybe not the Kershaw of old, but a very good version of him going forward. So I'm glad Kershaw is healthy. I'm glad that he's looking good so far. And based on the underlying numbers, I would not be shocked if this improved version of Kershaw sticks around. Sticking with another lefty for our second stock up player for this year. It's Shane McClanahan of the Rays. McClanahan is off to a great start that's also pretty easy to explain. Last year, McClanahan's curveball was a very good pitch for him, but didn't use it all that much. He used his slider more so than his curveball, but this year so far, McClanahan has slipped the usages of those two pitches. He's throwing the curveball 33% of the time. That is up from 16% last year, and it's led to a 41% strikeout rate with a 17.6% swinging strike rate. So McClanahan probably not going to have a 41% strike rate for the full year. He did face a high strikeout Cubs team on Monday, but overall, he is definitely trending the right way based on his pitch mix. McClanahan should get stretched out as the year goes along, should get a longer leash from this Rays team, and as he does so, I think the upside will be big for DFS. And McClanahan off to a good start, but based on the way the changes he has made, I do think these changes are legit, and I'd expect McClanahan to be a focal point for DFS going forward. Finally, in the third section, going back to the Los Angeles Dodgers and talking about Andrew Heaney, did not expect to be saying positive things about Heaney this early in the year, but once again, changes he has made lead me to believe that this could stick around. Specifically, Heaney added a slider this offseason. It's a pitch he has leaned on a lot through his first two starts, and it's been good for him so far. A 51% whiff rate on that slider, according to Baseball Savant. Sliders are pitches that can't get knocked around, so I would expect the hard contact and the homer issues that Heaney has had to still be here throughout 2022. However, if you can limit the number of balls in play, that's going to reduce the damage that can be let up by that hard contact. So Heaney, not fully out of the woods. He's going to be a guy who will still let us some dingers, and I think that will be a downside eventually. But if he limits the number of balls in play, that limits the damage. So Andrew Heaney, with this new slide, I'm expecting some good improvements here. So although we may still see some blips, the overall sample should be better thanks to all the strikeouts he accrues. That's all we got here for today on the FanDuel Hurry Up. I am Jim Sonis saying so long for today. Back again soon for more FanDuel Hurry Up once again.